select a desired pill counting mode. To count, dispense pills onto the tray in a scattering motion. Once the pills are scattered on the tray, use the front tray handle to lift the tray up and down and tap to assure pills spread away from each other. Tapping the tray is required to assure optimum accuracy. Always perform this step even when the result is displayed. If more pills were dispensed onto the tray than needed, use the spatula to place the excess quantity into one of the dispensing tubes. Transfer the excess quantity back into the supply bottle. Confirm the count and tilt the tray to place the pills into the second dispensing tube. If preferred, you can use the long edge of the spatula to sweep the pills from the tray. Transfer the pills to the patient's vial. Use the grooved grips of the tube to slightly open it and release any bottlenecking pressure. Do not dispense the pills onto the tray in a single heap or tight cluster. Heaping or clustering the pills will slow down the counting process. When counting larger pills, avoid exceeding quantities over 100. Although smaller pills can be counted in higher quantities, it is recommended to use the batching feature. Always glance at the surface of the tray and verify that pills are not stacked one on top of another. Confirm that none of the pills on the image are marked red. Pills marked in red are too close to the edge of the tray and are not counted. Tap or shake the tray until the pills move away from the edges of the tray. Glance at the image of the pills and make sure each pill is marked green. Pills without a green mark are not counted. Do not count translucent pills, pills with a through-hole opening, and avoid counting pills with obscure shapes.